going on guys? Black Scout Survival. Me and Austin are out here today looking for shrooms. I better not say it like that. That might be a negative connotation. So we're out here looking for mushrooms. Uh, Austin is a pretty good uh, mushroom guy, connoisseur of, of uh, all mushrooms, all things mushroom. I'm, I'm just kidding, but he does know mushrooms. So, um, you know, mushrooms are one of those things that you have to really know what you're doing or it could be a bad, bad day. So uh, what are we looking for today, Austin? Well, we are here along the Saluda River in South Carolina. Um, it's late October, um, so there are a few choice edible mushrooms we'll be looking for today. Um, the oyster mushroom is going to be probably the most prevalent mushroom out. Okay. Um, and it's a good edible. Not necessarily my favorite, but it, it's, it's as good as the mushrooms you can buy in your local Walmart or any yeah. other place. Um, that's probably the number one thing. Um, we're coming to the end of the season, uh, chicken of the woods or the sulfur shell. Yeah. Um, it's starting to cool down a good bit, but we might get lucky and run across some. Uh, the puffball mushrooms, uh, they're pretty delicious. Um, they should still be out. Uh, we got a good rain two days ago, so this is day two since a good rain. You can find mushrooms anywhere from the day after a good rain up until a week. Um, pretty much yeah and if we get really lucky the lion's mane which is one of my favorites will start to come out this time they get really prevalent during November uh, December um, but it's late October and we, we just got some cool weather so we might get lucky and run across some lion's mane also yeah a lot of these you know you can get field guys but I highly recommend getting a local expert if you're gonna be you know messing around with mushrooms absolutely um, the Pe Peterson's field guys has you know the four that are like pretty easily identif identifiable uh, in their in their wild edibles guide and uh, the sulfur shelf which is the chicken of the wood chicken in the woods is uh, in the book and uh, puff balls are one of those two so just make sure you know what you're doing because if you eat one um, what would happen if you eat a, a mushroom well a bad one a bad one a toxic one um, there's all kinds of different toxins in them um, they have uh, very appeasing names to go with them you have the death cap death angel the vomiter <laughs> uh, the sickener um, different ones have different toxins but uh, some can kill you within 24 hours shut down your liver shut down your system wow um, a, most of them though will probably just give you a bad few days yeah bad stomach upset vomiting things like that in, in a real world scenario that may be okay you go to the doctor or whatever but in a survival situation that could, that could be the end even though it Absolutely. may not be one of the ones that is going to kill you it's going to be one that depletes all your body fluids and all that kind of stuff and push you, uh, you know, takes away your energy and then you, you wind up, you know, dying. So, anyhow, we're Absolutely. going to go searching for these uh, mushrooms and uh, see if we can find some. log was a little sketchy trying to cross while filming myself <laughs> we're deep we're deep in the bush deep in the bush now all right we found some oyster mushrooms you can see here are oyster mushrooms that grow here in south carolina there's a lot of varieties but ours are always a light cream color um the bugs love them but they are a good edible mushroom and they're very abundant. Um, there are some look-alikes with the oyster mushrooms. They don't really look exactly like them. Um, but with the oysters, you want to make sure their stems are pretty short. They don't have much of a stem. And if you're first learning this mushroom, you want to do a spore print, but after you've seen it, and seeing the other ones that look like it, they're uh, fairly easy to identify. But uh, these aren't too bad, not too buggy. These would be great to saute up. I left my basket in the truck. We will be okay. We're just gonna cut some of these off. When I harvest them, I try to keep the clumps together it just makes it easier. 
and there's some in here when they start to get brown like this you probably wouldn't want to eat that there but you can just discard it as you can see the bugs love them um, but there's definitely some in here that are worth keeping and worth cooking up all right guys it looks like we spotted some oysters down there on a fallen tree close to the water down there um, pretty sure that's what it is but let's go down and take a closer look all right see if I can get them without falling down here And these look pretty good not ate up with bugs yet get my footing here all right and in a survival situation this would make you very happy beautiful oyster mushrooms not a whole lot of them they're pretty good size and the bugs haven't gotten to them yet so that's always a good thing the bugs love these oysters you always want to beat the bugs to them it's like a rishi down there can't tell it's got a white cap though is there more oysters under there isn't there some little ones yep Couple little ones. I think that's about it. All right. All right. I just wanted to share with you guys the mushroom knife I'm using today. This was handmade by a good friend of mine named Steven. Uh, his company is called Game Knives, and this is his mushroom knife. Um, he hand makes everything. He forges the blade himself, makes the sheaves himself. I love the style of the sheath. It sits sideways. Um, I love this little blade. It's, it's really handy, especially with cutting mushrooms. Um, it's just a great knife, but functionality carrying it in the sheaf, it just slides on on your belt loop like that, and it stays hidden, and you can just pop it right out. You're ready to go, cut your mushrooms off, and throw them in your basket. It is gameknives.com, and he's got all kinds of different styles of knives that he hand forges himself and hand makes the sheaths himself, all out of high quality, high quality leather and steel. All right, guys, so we just finished up today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. I uh, hope you uh, like seeing the mushrooms. And uh, we plan to bring Austin back in future videos, uh, do some other cool things we've talked about doing, uh, some primitive style, style stuff. So anyhow, uh, you got anything to say, Austin? Um, be careful out there hunting the mushrooms. Remember to always uh, consult your local experts and use uh, several references to uh, confirm you have what you found. Uh, before you eat them and yeah. uh, always do a spore print too until you get very familiar with the mushrooms you're finding uh, that's the best way to confirm you have what you have all right cool deal we'll catch y'all later and uh, thanks for watching right